All right, we're gonna do Apley's compression and Apley's distraction. This is a test for meniscus pathology of the knee. To do this test, we're gonna have their knee flexed at 90 degrees. Whenever we get them in this position, if they already have meniscus pathology, they'll start to have some pain just getting in the 90 degree range. But it'll be even more so when we do the test. So the first part of the test is to add some compression to the lower leg. So we're gonna be pressing down on the bottom of the foot to load the meniscus. Okay, we stabilize just above uh, the knee on the hamstrings. So we're pushing down, and as we push down, there's a couple of different things that we can do. Okay, one of the things that we can do is push down and twist. The other thing that we can do is push down and make a little circle here. Okay, just to cause some uh, pressure to put on the meniscus in different locations to try to elicit some pain. Uh, if they have pain that's deep inside the joint, then this uh, would indicate that it's positive for meniscus pathology. Okay, uh, if you're applying pressure and you're rotating, then there's also stress that's placed on the MCL and LCL. Okay, uh, you can't really rule those out completely with this test, so you'll have to do other tests like the and Barry stress test to see if those structures are involved. Okay, so that's the compression part. The distraction part is assuming that they had pain with that we would move our hand placement here and um, lift the lower leg up while we're still stabilizing and pushing down with our other hand and by doing this we're creating some space from the meniscus uh, so with the femur so that we can do some movements okay so we're going to rotate again we can also do a little circle here while we're doing this distraction if the pain goes away with distraction and they, they had it with compression, but it goes away with distraction, then that would mean that the meniscus is the problem. If they had pain with both, then and it's not any more severe with one or the other, then we're probably looking at more so an MCL or LCL issue. And uh, this is a pretty good test, but it needs to be done with some other meniscus tests as well. And that's it.